Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Lakwat Serong Butike. Bula doon sa makasaysayang simbahan ng San Miguel Bulacan, ang Diocesan Shrine and Parish of San Miguel Arcangel, nakabalik na ako ngayon dito sa Pampanga at nakatawid na rin ako dito sa makasaysayang simbahan ng San Fernando, Pampanga. Ang Metropolitan Cathedral of San Fernando o mas kilala sa pangalan na San Fernando Cathedral. Samahan niyo ako dito guys! The city of San Fernando is a first-class component city and capital of the province of Pampanga. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 354,666 people. The city is named after King Ferdinand VI of Spain and placed under the patronage of Saint Ferdinand III of Castel and Leon, whose feast is celebrated every May 30, popularly known as the Christmas capital of the Philippines. The city holds the annual Giant Lantern Festival every December, where large parole are displayed in competition. CNN has hailed the city as Asia's Christmas capital. The town of San Fernando was founded in 1754 from the towns of Bacolor in Mexico. The first church was built in 1755 with wooden wall and nipa roofing. The municipal tribunal was erected later in the year in front of the town plaza using durable materials and thatch nipa roofing. Don Vidal D. Arozal served as its first gobernadorcillo that year. Governor General Yolohio Dispohol and Manila Archbishop Bernardino Nozaleda inaugurated the San Fernando Railroad Station together with the Bagbag Mabalakat stretch of the Manila Dagupan Railroad on February 2, 1892. The station was second only to Manila in revenues that year and was thus the most important provincial station of the Manila-Dagupan Railroad. On June 27 of the same year, Jose Rizal made a stopover in the town as part of his mission to recruit members to the La Liga Filipina. On September 1, 1896, the town was declared to be a state of war despite its peaceful situation. Brigadier General Diego de los Reyes arrived on December 2 to calm the revolution that started in Manila on August 30. General Ruiz Ciralde took over Reyes' post on June 26, 1897, to maintain the peace in San Fernando. The revolution was not yet at its height, with occasional exchanges of fire in some places in Pampanga. On June 26, 1898, representatives from all Pampanga towns except Macabebe gathered in San Fernando to swear allegiance to General Maximino Hizon, who was the provincial military governor and representative of the revolutionary president Emilio Aguinaldo. 
On October 9, Aguinaldo and his cabinet visited the town and were welcomed with so much applause and enthusiastical cheering from the public. He proceeded to the convento which was served as the military headquarters at that time. On May 4, 1899, Philippine revolutionary troops led by General Antonio Luna burned the Casa Municipal, the town church, and several houses to render them useless to the approaching American forces. On June 16, due to the strategic location of the town, Aguinaldo himself led Filipino forces in the battle for San Fernando. On August 12, 1904, U.S. Secretary of War William H. Taft visited the town to get first-hand information and gather ideas for the governance of Pampanga. Owing to the short notice, the Bamboo Pavilion was hastily constructed for his visit, where he was welcomed with a banquet for 200 people. Taft would later be elected President of the United States. In 1932, the Socialist Party of the Philippines was founded by Pedro Abad Santos. Two years later, he created and headed the Aguman Ding Maldang Talapagobra, AMT. The Abad Santos compound in Barangay San Jose became the focal point of the peasant movement. On February 14, 1939, Philippine President Manuel L. Quizon proclaimed his social justice program before a gathering of farmers in front of the municipal government building. In 1941, forces of the Imperial Japanese Army occupied the town and placed the municipal government under its supervision. The following year, thousands of Filipino and American prisoners of war walked from Bataan to the San Fernando train station in what will be known as the Bataan Death March. In 1952, the town of Santo Tomas was separated from San Fernando. In 1986, Paterno Guevara was sworn in as officer in charge of the town after the successful People Power Revolution that toppled the Marcos dictatorship that same year. He was later elected municipal mayor. In 1990, Philippine President Corazon Aquino inaugurated the Pascuhan Village, the first Christmas village in Asia and the third of its kind in the world. The following year, Mount Pinatubo erupted after over 600 years of dormancy hurling a layer of ash and volcanic debris on the town. On October 1, 1995, Typhoon Maming struck the town. It unleashed floodwaters and mud flows from Mount Pinatubo into the town. The barangays of Santo Nino, San Juan, San Pedro Cotod, and Magliman were severely damaged by Lahar. The citizens of San Fernando rallied to save the town by raising funds to build the St. Fernand People's Dyke. The Pampanga Mega Dyke was constructed the following year, thus preventing further damage to the town. On January 6, 1997, Mayor Ray Aquino and Senator Gloria Macapagal Arroyo launched the campaign for cityhood. On April 27 of that same year, Representative Oscar Rodriguez filed House Bill No. 9267, creating the city of San Fernando. In 2000, House Speaker Arnolfo Fuentebilla 
and Senate President Aquilino Pimentel Jr. signed the approved city charter of San Fernando on December 4 and 13, respectively. The town officially became a component city on February 4, 2001. The Metropolitan Cathedral of San Fernando, formerly Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption, also known as San Fernando Cathedral, is a neoclassical church in the city of San Fernando, Pampanga. It is the set of the Archdiocese of San Fernando. Fray Sebastian Moreno, OSA, was its first cura paroco. It was transferred to the care of secular priests in 1788. The construction of the present style church started during the same year under the supervision of Father Manuel Canlas, its first secular cura paroco and a committee composed of the principales of the town. They were led by Gubernador Silio Bernabe Pamintuan. Construction was completed in 1808. The church was rededicated to the Assumption of Our Lady. The church was destroyed by fire again in 1939 and restored by Pampango architect Hernando H. Ocampo in 1948. In 1948, the church was elevated to cathedral when it became the set of the diocese of San Fernando, canonically created by Pope Pius XII. In 1975, the diocese was elevated by Pope Paul VI to Archdiocese of San Fernando. Its first bishop was Monsignor Cesar Maria Guerrero, D.D. He was followed by the Most Reverend Emilio A. Sinensi, D.D., who became its first Archbishop. He was succeeded by the Most Reverend Oscar V. Cruz, D.D., in 1978. The third Archbishop of San Fernando is the Most Reverend Pasiano B. Anisito, D.D., and the current is Most Reverend Florentino Lavarias, D.D. Mula naman dito sa San Fernando, Pampanga, tutuloy pa ako ngayon papuntang Lubaw, Pampanga. Isang makasaysayang simbahan naman ang aking pupuntahan doon, ang San Agustin Parish Church o mas kilala sa pangalan na Lubaw Church. Abangan nyo ko doon guys! Bye bye!